Hi guys, welcome back to another video here on my channel. Today we have a renovation actually, this is a renovation of a park, um, not a speed build for once. And um, yeah, it, this is a renovation if you have uh, the get together, what is it, expansion pack, oh Jesus. <laughs> Um, if you have that expansion pack, then you will have Hair Square in your game. It's in Windenburg. Um, and yeah, it's it's just basically a park in kind of a more built up area. And I don't really like it that much. So I was like, Do you know what? I'm going to make it my own. So I made uh, my own little version of it. And yeah, it turned out pretty well. Um, I wanted to use a lot of the Romantic Garden stuff pack. And basically... Um, I just wanted to do something that wasn't a house. I was talking to my brother, I was on Skype with him and I was like, I have to do a video for this week and so I'm going to talk to you while I do this video. So that's very exciting. But yeah, um, and I started off, god that looks so bad. <laughs> um, like, I started off um, with like, uh, I started doing like an eco house and then I started doing like um a nightclub and I was there for maybe like two hours doing both of those things and I was just like god I hate this <laughs> so I I was just like do you know what I'm gonna do something completely different um because I am so bored of doing houses at the minute I don't know why it just re I really am not loving it so I, I just yeah I wanted to do something different so I thought I'd do a park and I don't know you might you might have heard me talking about this before but I I'm really not the best at doing parks and stuff. I it's just not what I'm great at. So I decided, do you know what? Just feel the fear and do it anyway. You know that kind of thing. So yeah. Um, I used what I for the basic layout of this park. I really did just renovate it. I kept the basic layout of the park that was you know already there. Um, and by the way, before I even get into this, this is a renovation of Hare Square, which is in Windenburg. But you can really use this lot anywhere that you want to. As long as it's like a 30 by 20 lot, you can just easily slap it in. Fits perfectly. You might want to get rid of um, the concrete on the outside, depending if there's concrete surrounding the actual lot. But, you know, if not, then whatever, you know. It, yeah just do what you want with it um <laughs> but okay so the basic um kind of idea that i went with was i wanted the um i guess the higher objects or the taller objects even so like the tree and i used two heights of the um like foliage fence like what is it even called i guess it's a bush <laughs> Um, I used the higher one of those, the taller one of those in the middle and then the shorter one on the outside so it kind of, everything sort of like ends up being higher in the middle without actually changing, you know, the terrain or anything. Because I just think that looked better. If, if you had all the high, all the tall stuff on the outside, then it would kind of just block it off and, I don't know, it just wouldn't necessarily, I guess, look as good. I'm sure it could, but... That's based, That's kind of what I was going for. So, yeah, um, this I really enjoyed doing. I'm so happy that I did it because I've been playing... Okay, so I didn't really want to film a video this week. Um, and it's not because, like, I hate YouTube. It's not anything to do with that. I just... I've been playing The Witcher 3. I bought it maybe, like, a week ago. Maybe less, maybe more. Actually, I think it was, like, a week ago today of the Friday. I don't know. Either way. I bought it a, a few days ago and I cannot stop playing it. I just want to spend my whole life playing The Witcher 3 and I've never played any of The Witcher games before. I The reason I bought it was because A was on sale on Steam and B because um, one of my friends actually said I should play it um, like ages ago and he was like if you like Skyrim which I love Skyrim um, it's literally one of my favorite games of all time. Um, he was like, you have to play The Witcher 3 if you like Skyrim because, you know, it's great. And I am, and I literally cannot stop. It, the Witcher 3 to me feels like a more updated and probably, I think it's probably bigger than Skyrim, um, which is amazing for me because I could just spend thousands of hours playing it. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm so in love with the game. It's definitely... I would recommend it. I would really recommend it. Um, the only thing is about The Witcher is that there's a lot of, okay, there's a lot of boobs in it. There's a lot of tits out at general times. Um, <laughs> and there's also a lot of 
well, there's a lot of gore. They like once you once you've played the game for like more than an hour, you kind of get over the gore. I'm very much over it now. I was kind of shocked the first hour. I was like, what is going on here? Because you kind of literally like slice people in half, and I was like, oh, okay. Um, but yeah, it's whatever. I don't, I'm not someone that like really is affected by gore. Like it's fine for me. I I don't really mind. Um, but there's also a lot of like real bad swearing in it. So if you're someone that doesn't like swearing, then maybe not. Um, I, it's one of those games I would definitely recommend listening to the um, age certificate on it. I think it's an 18, um, at least in like England or whatever. I don't know how. Is it an R? Is okay in America. You have like rated R. I mean that was a really good accent let's be real <laughs> um but like is that the same as like 18 i don't know can someone who knows both of those systems like tell me because i don't really understand it i think i think like in my head that makes sense but do you know what like we never know we never know um so yeah i've been playing a lot of the witcher and yeah as i said there's a lot of boobs in it and i'm not someone that really cares about i'm all about like freeing the nipple so you know i'm not offended by women's boobs so i you know i don't really care but um the one thing that on that kind of vein that, that kind of does grind my gears a bit is there's a lot of like unnecessary um nudity for in you know women in for the women that i did not say that properly but basically what i'm talking about is um i was i'm at the part if you're wondering if you play switcher i don't i don't know but i'm i'm still like bloody looking for siri and she's just like not turning up anywhere so i went to i think it's skelly gay like in my head i call it skellage but i know that's not what it's actually called but you know the island and um i was like i, w I can't remember what it was i think it was I know I'm not going to try and remember but there's basically this one bit where you're introduced to a female character and she's like she's hardcore she like fights and stuff she like most of the women in the game kind of just like sit and cry because there's a war and a lot of people died um but there's this one character who um she's a woman and she like has swords and all that malarkey and she just like walks in and her in like her whole top is just undone for like no reason and i was just like what is this <laughs> i was just like you've got to laugh at it because it's just like you didn't even try like <laughs> it just looked so i mean it, you know i'm sure a lot of like people love it but like i was just like why is her top undone like why is it undone like and there's a bit of that kind of stuff but i was just like what is this anyway I, I it just like blows my mind it's like why is she like half naked for no reason in the middle of like nowhere like it's just i don't know anyway um but yeah so also another thing <laughs> that's kind of on the same vein um not as that but like as the witcher is the walking dead um it started again which is very exciting i love the walking dead if you didn't already know um and i've not actually watched the new episode yet and i i tell you what i feel like i have because i've seen so many fucking spoilers i am so annoyed like genuinely quite irritated by it um that i've seen so many spoilers and i know that people are like oh you should have watched it you know if you're like a true fan i don't care like i am a true fan okay i love the walking dead but i have not made i've not watched it yet i've not been well i say i've not been able to i've been busy playing the witcher okay okay um <laughs> but no i'm a i'm part of because the thing is that if you guys don't know i i volunteered at this walking dead like convention um at the beginning of this year and there's like a facebook page um that is for the convention itself but also for the people that volunteered at the convention and there's not many spoilers on that for like the first two days and then after that it's just like a bloody free-for-all and it's not just that that i've seen spoilers on i've seen it on twitter i've seen it on just like my general facebook from just like people that i'm friends with that i didn't even know watch the walking dead and oh, <laughs> i'm so irritated i me and jess the other day we were just like i'm so annoyed i'm so annoyed i've seen all the spoilers i mean she's already watched the episode but i have not and i'm just i'm angry so I, i'm gonna watch that tonight and i actually am gonna watch it tonight um but oh my god i'm so irritated i'm so irritated by it anyway we'll get over it it's fine um 
anyway, <laughs> I think I basically need to start going on Facebook because, I mean, I mean, there's spoilers, but also I never use Facebook anymore. I just watch it and there's some like funny stuff on there. You see a few like funny videos sometimes, but apart from that, I really never use Facebook. Um, like I don't, like I use the messaging like a ton. That's basically how I keep in contact with like most of my friends, but I just, the actual like website itself, I never use anymore. So I don't know, is Facebook dying? Maybe it is, I don't know. Anyway, so this is basically how this build has turned out. Are you glad that I've not talked about it at all? As always, I just like going off on like several tangents. Um, but yeah, I, I used a lot of the Romantic Garden stuff pack and it's kind of cute. I, I just, this is really what I was trying to go for. So yeah, I, uh, I'm very happy. And I, I tried to, uh, keep a lot of the stuff that was already in it. So, because it is a renovation, I wanted to keep the, like, plant pot things and chess tables and everything. So yeah, um, this is how it turned out. I hope you guys like it. I like it. I'm happy with it. So yeah um it's up on the gallery so if you want to download it you definitely can by searching grace docs yeah grace docs um on the gallery oh um and but all of the info and stuff is in the description so just click down there if you uh want to see it so yeah thank you guys so very much for watching um i really enjoyed doing this um i hope you like it and um i will see you guys next week so yeah have a good old week and um, I'll see you then, okay? Bye 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 bye